Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, people, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to class. How are you? Hello, hello. Are you ready to start our class? Yes or yes? Yes or yes? Are you ready? Yes. Welcome, welcome. Bueno, pero qué poquitos están y los demás que se hicieron. Solo veo seis estudiantes conectados. Bueno, hagamos una media, un medio refresh de lo que vimos en la clase pasada. Eran negative statements. Um, and just no questions with B. A ver, ¿quién me dice un negative statement? Con el verbo to be. Yo no soy o yo no estoy. Yo no soy o yo no estoy. I am not teacher. Bueno, ahí faltaría el, el artículo A. A I am not a teacher. Correcto, no, 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 no. I am not a teacher. Yo no soy un maestro. I am not a doctor. Yes, I am not a doctor. ¿Qué más? Uh -huh. Negative statements. I am not angry. I am not. Not. La I palabra de negación. A ver, guys. La palabra de negación, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Not. Not. I am not. You are not, my friend. You are not. Okay, excellent. You are not in Mexico. Yes. You are not, you are not in Mexico, correct? Tú no estás, tú no estás en Mexico. All right. A ver, ¿quién más? Otro ejemplo. I am not my best friend is not... I am not your best friend. Yo no soy tu mejor amigo o amiga. I am not your best friend. I am not your father. Uh -uh. I am not your father. Yes, I am not. I am not your brother. Yeah. Can you give me an example, please? A negative statement with the bird to be. I am not. Hello. Va, aprovechemos el tiempo, niños, por favor. El tiempo es oro. Déjenme que den viendo. Aquí los protagonistas son ustedes. <laughs> I am not a nurse. Correcto. I am not a nurse. Thank you. ¿Quién más? I am not a secretary. Correcto. I am not a secretary. I am not a secretary. A ver, ¿quién más? I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor, correct. I am not a doctor. A ver, ¿quién más? I am not a chef. I am not a chef, correct. I am not a chef. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. Bueno, gracias. Vámonos con... Su asistencia, chicos. Let's go with Alvaro, Mauricio, Canales, Villatoro. Are you in the house? Present teacher. All right, sir. Be my guest. Brian Francisco Blanco Peralta. Delmi Elizabeth Carias. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Miss. Erika Joana Quijada Morales. Ernesto Jose Arias Arias. Present teacher. All right. Eva Margarita Osorio Serrano. Present teacher. Be my guest. 
Um, Jorge Alexander Lopez Hernandez. Present teacher. Be my guest. Um, Catherine Joanna Lopez Enriquez. Present teacher. All right, be my guest. Catherine Jamilet Rivera Callejas. Present teacher. All right, coming in. Laura Gilisat Peña Castillo. Present teacher. Great. Mario Alonso Juarez Rodriguez. Mirna Griselda Mejia Garcia. Present. All right, Mirna. Great. Welcome to. Oops, oops. It's not this one. It's not this one. This one is. All right. Oscar Orlando Ramirez Oriana. Present teacher. Great. Welcome to class. Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. Present. Bien. All right, rocks coming in. Vilma Concepcion, Bindel de Cepeda. Vilma Isabel Morejon Lopez. Present teacher. Great, Vilma Jennifer Damisela Flores Melendez. No. Nope. And Johnny Edgar Avalos Rivas. Bueno, eso sería todo, ¿verdad? Let me see. Ajá. Oh, Kiroki. Ok, ya que tenemos la asistencia, pues, let's continue, guys. Let's go with the next topic. Sé que, pues, um, vimos los negative statements with the bird to be okay so let me share my screen vamos a compartir ahorita let me share uh, let hello me teacher share. i'm sorry uh, i'm here no problem brian welcome to class no problem sir ya vamos a poner ahí the attendance all right. Muy bien. Bueno, esto fue lo que vimos las clases pasadas. Okay, here it is. Mm, se reinició otra vez. Give me one quick second. While we get to the right place. Mm -hmm. Well, we throw this conversation. We're ready. Yeah. So this conversation. So negative statements aquí nos habíamos quedado justo acá let me put it in my favorites y luego pues vamos a negative statements and the B que es lo que también este, estábamos practicando al inicio right ahora vamos con familiar syllable stress nuestro stress is part of our intonation it's very important to work on it it's very important bueno en sus casitas le ponen uh, mute al microphone Pónganle silencio, pero ustedes ahí repitiendo en casita, ¿ok? Ready, ready, ready. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Pronounce, pronounce. Stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only used in long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers 
and in future classes we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, eh, no sé quién está manchándome la pantalla, guys. Les voy a pedir un poquito de respeto, ¿verdad? Yo creo que estamos en una clase de inglés de una hora y pues creo que hay que mostrar bastante profesionalismo, ¿verdad? Entonces les voy a pedir el respeto debido. Creo que todos estamos aquí con el objetivo de aprender. Eh, pues les pido encarecidamente guardar ese respeto, ¿verdad? Es solo una clase de una hora, así que tenemos que aprovechar nuestro tiempo al máximo posible. ¿Ok? ¿Están pronunciando los números? ¿Are you pronouncing the numbers? ¿Or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Hagamos la diferencia, por favor, entre estos números que son los que van del 13 al 19. Ok, chicos, todos estos números del 13 al 19, from 13 to 19, todos llevan la palabra teen al final. Entonces, esta pronunciación teen es para arriba. Rising intonation. Por ejemplo, 13, vas a decir 13. Repeat, 13. 13. Bueno. 13. Pongamos atención a eso, vamos otra vez. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this Teacher. class, we will focus on stressing numbers quedó and in quedó la pantalla. La pantalla. advanced Teacher. uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50. Pasa algo. Se atoró la pantalla, se había quedado atorada. Se atoró, se atoró. Sí, pero ya estuvo. Okay, okay, sí, okay. quedó eh, trabada como un minuto, como 30 segundos, dicho. En serio, qué raro. 30 segundos. Sí, pero, pero es que hubo, hubo un bajón de... De, de, de internet. De no, internet. a mí me quedó Entonces, quizás por eso como, se congeló. como un minuto me quedó congelada a mí. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Entonces, no worries, no worries. Aquí estoy, cualquier cosa me avisan. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. 
Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, ha you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookru.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Okay, so now my question for you is their pronunciation. Um, how do you say how do you say trece? Thirteen. 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 How do you say treinta? Thirty. 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 How do you say how do you say catorce? Fourteen. 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 And cuarenta? Four. Forty. 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 Now, how do you say quince? Sixteen. Sixteen. Ok, ese lleva sonido F, guys. No X, no X, sino F. Capto a alguien que me da la X en vez de la F. Let me see, let me see, let me see. A ver, repeat. Fifteen. 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 Ah, sí. Fifteen. ¿Y cincuenta? Fifty. 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 Siempre la F, correcto. Fifty. Fifty. Five zero, right? Fifty. Fifty. Um, dieciséis. Sixteen. 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 Más larguito. Sixteen. 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 Y aquí sí es X. Six. Six. Sixteen. 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 Sixte
90. In British? ¿Cuál? En British, en británico, ¿cómo sería? Así. Ok, ahora, 100. 100 dólares. 100 dólares. Ahora, de decir 101, tenemos la opción de decir 101. O podemos decir 101. Okay. Como ustedes prefieren. 101. Hablemos de ages para preguntar la edad. Vamos a, vamos a decir how old. How old. How old is. How old. Si es para la primera, bueno, para la segunda persona, estamos conversando, right? How old are you? Repeat, how old how are you? How old are you? you? ¿Cómo voy a contestar? Voy a decir, I am en inglés. Jamás van a decir yo tengo, como decimos en español. Yo tengo, yo tengo 30 años. Yo tengo 40 años. No, en inglés se usa el verbo to be. Yo estoy sí. en, ta, en tal edad, ¿verdad? Siempre. ¿Ok? I am. Y me van a decir el número. Y luego oh. van a decir years. Years con S. Years. Oh, years. Old. ¿Qué significa años de edad? I am 27 years old. Uh -huh. Y para devolver la pregunta, how, how, old? how about you, y qué hay acerca de ti, siempre para devolver la pregunta se usa how about you, ok. A ver, eh, voluntarios, how, you? how old are you guys, how old are you? I am, no, 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 I am, decís el número. I am, I am 20 years old. How 20 years old, okay. 20 years old. How uh, about you? Me? Uh, guess? Adivine, ba. guess, guess. 25 years old. 25 years old? Thank you. Oh, one punto, punto extra ahí. <laughs> a ver, eh, 33, Ahora, cuando estoy hablando contigo directamente te voy a decir, how old are you? Porque you es usted. ¿Cuánta, ¿En cuánta edad anda usted? ¿Ok? Pero si yo estoy hablando contigo, pero la pregunta te la quiero hacer de una tercera persona, voy a usar la tercera persona. Siempre voy a usar la expresión, how old? Ahora el verbo to be va a ser is. How old is he? Puede ser, how old is she, que es ella, right? Y cómo va a responder usted, pues usando ese sujeto, usando ese sujeto, usando ese verbo to be. Por ejemplo, how old is teacher Caleb? Si estamos hablando en tercera persona, how old is he? How old is teacher Caleb? He's he's half. Ah 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 ah. No. Ouch. He's... Uh, you're killing me, you're killing me. He is He's 40 years old. <laughs> Correct. Tercera persona. Él está. He is 40 years old. A ver, vamos a hablar de edad. Volunteers. Volunteers. 
A ver, volunteers. Ernesto, go ahead. How old are you, Ernesto? I am um, 25 years old. How about you? You said 25? Yeah. 25, 25, yes. I am 40 years old. I am 40 years old, all right? Thank you for the information. King Mas, King Mas, King Mas, how old are you? How Yo. old are you? Raise your virtual hand. Levantan la mano virtual, virtual hands up. Okay, Brian, how old are you, Brian? Let me see. I am Dress. 32 years old. 32 years old. Okay, okay. You're young, Brian. You're very young. But you have a mustache. You have a mustache that, that gives you like more and more years, yeah. huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ok, ¿Cómo, ¿cómo devolves la pregunta? Alguien que te haga cualquier pregunta, ¿cómo la devuelves? Ah? How about you? Esa, acostumbrémonos a esa. How, How about, about you? How about you? Oh, 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 es una conversación you. entre dos. Eh, no solo yo, sino you? que tú pasas no la pregunta con, también. No podríamos okay. responder igual como la misma pregunta que nos hizo. You. También, también. En you puedes decirle, en you, how old are, are you? Pero para no irnos a lo repetitivo, right? Uh, how about you? How about you? Thank you for the information. Creo que le escucharon a Brian, ¿verdad? Ojo. Ok, Kat, las dos Catherine, ve las tocayas. Ok, entonces vámonos con Joanna. How old are you, Joanna? I am 27 years old. 27 years old. I am 40 years old. Ok, Catherine. Catherine, ask the question a Jamilet. Catherine Jamilet, ask the question. Hágale la pregunta. Excuse me. I am Amor, 20 no years puedes... old. Hola. ¿Quién, quién iba a hacer la pregunta? Es que iban a hacer una pregunta. Ajá, ustedes iban a hacer el role play. Go ahead. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. How old are you? Mm -hmm. Roxana. I am 20 years old. Mucho how, cuidado how con esta you? pregunta, guys. En la introducción es how old are you? Muchos la pueden oh. confundir con how are you? Más cuando estamos en el básico uno, ¿verdad? Que eh, estamos poco a poco. Entonces, eh, ojo, how are you? Es como estás. How All are you es qué edad tienes. Entonces, si usted no entiende o no, o no captó la pregunta, no se preocupe. Usted tiene la oportunidad de decir, excuse me. Eso, eso es 100% válido. Digan, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Y ahí, pare bien las orejas, ¿verdad? Para ver si le dicen, <risa> how are you? Sí, es cierto. Eh, or how old are you? ¿Verdad? Estamos, estamos, estamos. Entonces, ¿nos repiten el roleplay, chicas? ¿Listas? ¿Girls? Okay. Action. Um, espérame, ¿quién era? ¿Le la llamo por su nombre o solo le pregunto? No, así. Excuse me, y le decís el nombre. Okay. Excuse me, Catherine. How old are you? I am 20 years old. 20? 20 years old. Okay. Oh, faltó el, el how about you, ¿verdad? How bueno, about you? a ver, ¿cómo lo hace Jennifer con Álvaro? ¿Qué les parece? Jennifer en Álvaro. Talking about ages. We're talking about ages. Estamos hablando de la edad. Por eso estamos metiendo los números también. Estamos aprendiendo y jugando con el verbo to be. ¿Ok? Action. Excuse me, Álvaro. How are you? How are you? <laughs> relax, relax. How, How old are you? Círculo. Oh. Se me trabó la ley. 
How, How old, are, old you? are you? Es que muy rápido quiere hablar usted ya, mi relax. Excuse me, can you repeat that? ¿Cómo? Excuse me. Excuse me, can you repeat that? Ah, okay. How old are you? Mm. I'm 30 years old. How about you? I am 27 years old. Excellent. Similar, similar generation, huh? Very similar generation, Alvaro and Jennifer. Alvaro, how old is Alvaro? Thanks. Guys, how old Sorry. is Alvaro? Hello. He's... Tell me. Talk to me. How old is Alvaro? Did you pay attention or no? You're not paying attention, ¿ah? Huh? No me lo diga, Jenny. No me lo diga. Es para sus compañeros. Yo sé que usted escuchó. Ajá. Uh -huh. Guys, how Teacher. old is Alvaro? No se van hasta que me lo digan. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's 26 years old. No, that's not right. Is that correct, Alvaro? 26 um, years old? No, no, no. 30 years old. 30 years old. 30 years old. Wow. Me deben ahí. How old is Jennifer? A ver, how old is Jennifer, guys? How old is your classmate, old. Jennifer? 27. No, 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 no se vale que me digan solo el número. Tienen que decirme ella o me tienen que decir el nombre de ella. Me tienen que decir el verbo to be. Me tienen que decir el número y luego years old, guys. Come on. Jennifer is Jennifer, 27, 20 years, years old. 27 years old. Jennifer. 27 uh -huh. years old. Jennifer verbo to be. is verbo 27 to be. years Jennifer old. Jennifer is, is, is. is. Todos. Jennifer, Jennifer is, is, is 20, 20, 20, 27, 27, 27 years, years old. Oh, fantastic. Yes, that's correct. All right, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más dijo que quería practicar? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Está perdiendo el miedo. ¿Quién más? Hablando de edades, talking about ages, using numbers, usando números del 1 al 100. No se preocupen, que al 100 creo que no vamos a llegar, right? So, tenemos a Roxana. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Come on, participation. ¿Quién más no ha participado? Eva, ok. Roxana en Eva. Roleplay. How, how old are you? I am 23 years old. How about you? Ya de ahí no sé qué responder. Lo mismo, solo que tienes que dar tu edad, porque ella también ah, quiere saber tu edad. Ah. Ah. I am 22 years, years old. Years old. Le vamos a agregar years un poquito de, de fluidez. Al principio necesito que me digas, excuse me, Roxana. Excuse me, Roxana. Y luego la pregunta, how old are you? ¿Listas? Sí. Y cuando ella te pregunta, how about you? Te está preguntando, ¿y tú qué hay acerca de ti? Estamos en la misma pregunta de la edad, ¿ok? Role plays. Excuse me, Roxana, can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? I am 23 years old. What about you? No escucho mucho lo que dice. Bueno, excelente. Gracias por intentarlo, chicas. Nice job. Nice job. I have a little question for you. I have a little question for you. Can you tell me uh, the age? Acuérdense que age es edad, ¿verdad? Um, the age of two family members. Can you tell me the age of two family members? 
me pueden dar la edad de dos familiares. For example, my father, Antonio, my father, Antonio, is 71 years old. ¿Se entendió? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yep. Yes. And my, my father, sister. Uh huh. Tell me, tell me. Uh huh. My father is um, 55 years old. And 55. my mother. 55, okay. And my mother um, is 54 years old. Oh, it's only one year difference. Yes. They are very young. And you, how old are you? And I'm 30 years old. 30 years old. Excellent. Excellent information, Álvaro. Great job. Congratulations. Buena participación esta noche, Álvaro. ¿Quién más? Dos my, edades my de dos familiares. Vamos. My wife is 32 years old. She's young. Está joven. She's young. Ajá, uh -huh. continue. And my mother is... Eh, She's 52 years old. She's very young. She's very young. 52 years old. Come on. Um, and you? You said you are 30 years old, Ryan? I am, yes. 30. 30. Three zero, correct? 30, no, 32. Oh, 32. Yes. 32 years old. Okay, Brian, thank you for the information. Good practice, sir. Good practice. Vaya, ahora sí, ve. Eh. Vamos a ver. Um... Vámonos con Ernesto, pues. Aprovechemos a los chicos. Tell us, Ernesto. Okay. Um, my mother is uh, 48 years old. Even younger. Okay. And my grandmother is... Uh, I don't remember, please. But... <laughs> guess, guess, uh, invent, approximate. Okay, uh, 80, <laughs> four, 80, four years old. That's nice. And how about you, Ernesto? How old are you? I am uh, 25 years old. 25 or 35? 20. 25. Two, two five, right? 25. Two five. Acuérdate que puedes decir 20, puedes decir 20, okay. o puedes decir 20. 20. 20. Okay. 25. Ok. Great. 25. Interesting. Interesting information. Um, tell me then. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Tell me. Go ahead. Tell me. Eh, sería, my sister is 51 years old. My son is 25 years old. El de su hijo casi no se lo entendí, mis. My son is... 25. Ah, ahí está. 25. 25. 25. Acuérdense que el 5 lleva una... Como que una vibración de la B pequeña, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se, cómo se 20, pronuncia la B pequeña? 25. V. Decimos V. Entonces, v. es ese 5. 5 por la V. 5. 20. 20. 5. Yo antes decía 5. Solo 5. Decía yo. Entonces, tenía un error ahí, right? De esa... Okay. Puedes decir esa colita de pronunciación. Good job, Miss. And you, Miss, how old are you? Again, teacher? How old are you, Catherine? Uh, my sister. No, you, is... you, you. Uh, how okay. old are you? I am 20 years old. Okay, 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 okay. Ahora sí, dale con tu sister. Okay. My sister is 28 yeah. years old. Okay. My mother is my mother is sixty five years old. Cincuenta mm. cinco. Yes. Sixty five. Fifty. 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 
Ahí está. 55 years old. Excellent. Congratulations. Ahora sí, entonces, ¿quién más? Eh, Griselda, go ahead, proceed. My daughter, five years old. Falta el verbo my to daughter, be. My, my daughter is. My daughter is five years old. Oh, she's the baby. My brother, yes, my brother is five years old. Twenty-two years old. Okay. And you? How old are you, Griselda? I am sorry, years old. Thirty. The thirty. Thirty. Sorry. I am thirty years old. I am. Yes. Thirty years old. I am old. sorry. Va una más y me convence, Griselda. How old is teacher Kalev? He's 40 years old. Wow, congratulations. Just, 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 you got it, girl. You got it. A ver, ¿qué más? Jorge, proceed. Hi. My father is 60 years old. 60, 63? Six, no, 60. 60, exactly, old. 60. Yeah. Okay. And my brother is 22 years old. 22 years. Poneme la S in years. 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 years old. Oh. Excellent, excellent. Gracias, chicos. Muy buena práctica. Muy buena um, dinámica con ustedes. I'm very happy. Sigamos entonces con los numbers. Let's continue with the numbers. Let me see. Esto se repitió. Let me check. Ah, no. Es una conversación. Vamos a la conversación. Let's check it out. Class, you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. Now, let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 
One hundred and two. One hundred and three. Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website bookaroo.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link. He's my brother. Okay, so we have a conversation between. We have Emma and we have Jill, right? Talking about a picture in the family album. Okay. Do you have any question about this vocabulary on this conversation? No, teacher. No questions? No. All right. And in that case, what's the meaning of uh, smart? What's the meaning? Intelligent. Intelligent. Inteligente, el sinónimo es intelligent. Okay. Okay. What about what about um let me see. What about cute? What is cute? Lindo. 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 Tierno, ¿verdad? Lindo. All right, all right. Ahí estamos. Vamos con practice the conversation. Teacher Kalev will interpret Emma and all the students will interpret Jill. Ready? ¿Alguien tiene preguntas? Sí, yo, este, donde dice, I bet he's nice. Te apuesto que es, es buena onda, te apuesto. Okay. I bet. Mm -hmm. Okay, nicely done. Let's practice the conversation in three, two, one. Who's that? He's my, my brother. brother. My brother. My brother. brother. Oh, oh brother. wow, he's cute. What's his name? Okay, and how old is he? He's 21 years old. And what's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. He is. He is. And who's that? My sister, 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 sister Thomas. 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 She, she, she baby. 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 She's the baby. She's the baby of the family, right? Okay, let's switch. The students start with Emma. Three, two, one. Let's go. Who's that? Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's cute. What is his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, he's, 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 he's 21 years old. He's nice. He is nice. Yes, he is. And he is very smart, too. And how is that? that? that, that. That's my sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. All right, so we're going to finish up with the numbers. We're going to finish up with the numbers. All right. Bueno, vámonos a lo siguiente. Let me check right here. Bueno, solo vamos a hacer una pequeña introducción de las WH words que mañana pues vamos a darle a eso. All right, let me just share my screen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions with B. The first thing that I would like to explain is the mm -hmm. WH words. Whenever we say WH words, we refer to the following. Who, what, when, where, how, why. On your screen, you can see these words display. Let me write the rule to follow in order to form WH questions would be. You're going to have a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of pronoun or complement. Let's take a look at some of the examples on the screen. What's your name? And the answer for that type of question is, my name is Jill. 
who's that? And the answer for that type of question is, he's my brother. Who are they? And the answer for that type of question is, they're my classmates. Where are you from? And the answer for that type of question is, I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They're from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Now it's your time to practice making some examples of your own. First, I would suggest for you to ask and answer those questions for yourself. And then for your friends and relatives, Remember, the more you practice, the easier this concept will become for you. And the answer for that type of question is, my name is Jill. Bueno, aquí tenemos una variedad de preguntas, pero todas van con WH. WH questions, son palabras de WH. Estas eh, tipo de preguntas las vamos a ver primeramente con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Luego las veremos ya con verbo de acción y con los auxiliares do y das del tiempo presente. Por el momento, con el verbo to be. What is your name? ¿Cómo contestaríamos? A ver, yo les pregunto. What is your name, guys? What is your name? My name, my name, my name is Ernesto. Ajá, ¿y cómo devuelven la pregunta? Oh, how, about how about you? How about you? How about you? Natural, right? Natural. My name is Antonio. How about you? Okay, my name is Caleb. Okay, siguiente. Where are you from? Is to I'm lugar de origen. I'm, I'm from El Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. Salvador. Obviamente ya sé yo que somos salvadoreños todo ¿verdad? entonces Ay, quiero que me digan I am from El Salvador I am from El Salvador y aparte me van a decir I am from y me dan su ciudad city de donde nacieron y me van a decir originally por ejemplo me I am from El Salvador you know I am from Santa Ana originally. Repeat, originally. Originally. Right? Yo vivo en San Salvador. I live in San Salvador, but I I am from Santa Ana originally. All right? And you? Okay. What are you from, guys? I'm from, I'm from El Salvador, Salvador. original San Salvador. I am from San Salvador I from originally. Original, original. I am from San Salvador originally. I am from San Salvador. Originally. I'm from, I'm from El Salvador. Uh, I'm from San Salvador originally. 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 Oh. Right. Entonces, estas preguntas. Y la otra, how are you today, right? La, ¿Cómo estás? How are you today? ¿Cómo estás oh, ahora? Ajá. Uh -huh. How are you today, I'm, guys? I'm, Never I'm, better. Fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I am doing excellent. Happy. All right. All right. All right. Entonces, ¿quién es aquella persona? ¿Quién es aquel? ¿Quién es aquella? Who's that? Es un caballero. He is my brother. Right? He is my brother. Preguntas en tercera persona. How old is he? How old is he? He is 21. Right? Faltó aquí el years old. What's he like? ¿Cómo es el descripción? He is very nice. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. nice. Very nice. En plural. Who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? Who are they? They are my classmates. They are my classmates. Ven, ¿qué lleva acá? Classmates. They are. Ellos son. Ellos están aquí. Ellos son. They are my classmates. Luego, where are they from? De donde. Where is donde. Lugar. Place. Where are they from? De donde son ellos. 
Así dijo que era de Rio. ¿Y cómo es Rio? What's Rio like? Repeat, what's Rio like? What's Rio like? ¿Qué me podrías decir? It's very beautiful. Excellent. Entonces, de tarea me practican estas preguntas. Vamos a hacer una conversación el día de mañana usándolas. Entonces, me las practican sus respuestas, por favor. Buscando siempre sonar lo más natural posible. Please, please, please. Bueno, vámonos a la asistencia, chicos. Thank you for your participation. Eh, vámonos con Álvaro, Mauricio, Canales, Villatoro. Are you in the house? Presente, teacher. Oh, ok. Brian, Francisco, Blanco, Peralta. Present, teacher. Terrific. Um, we have Delmi, Elizabeth, Carias. Present, teacher. Ok. Erika, Joana, Quijada, Morales. Missing in action. Ernesto José Arias Arias. Present teacher. Thanks. Eva Margarita Osorio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay. Jorge Alexandre López Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Catherine Joana López Henriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Jamele Rivera Callejas. Present teacher. Lara Lisset Peña Castillo. Present teacher. Mario Alonso Juarez Rodriguez. Missing in action, huh? Missing. Oops, okay, Saka. This was zero. Um, Mirna Griselda Mejia Garcia. Sign here. All right, thank you. Oscar Rolando Ramirez Oriana. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. Present. Vilma Concepcion Vindel de Cepeda. Present teacher. All right, thank you so much. Vilma Isabel Morejon Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Damisela Flores Mendez. Present teacher. And Johnny Edgar Avalos Rivas. All right, perfect. Excellent, guys. Once again, thank you for your attendance. I will see you Peter, tomorrow. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Eh, la conversación que vamos a practicar va a ser con nuestras propias respuestas. La conversación. Ajá. Uh -huh. Um. Right. O la que vimos en el video. O sea, la haja de preguntas de... Ah, oh, tú me dices lo que vas a estudiar. Ajá. Ajá, las WH words que, que vimos, esas necesito que las practiques y las estudies para hacer una conversación mañana en la entrada, en los primeros 15 minutos, ¿ok? Ok, okay teacher, thank you. My pleasure, guys. Nos quedamos hasta aquí. I'll see you tomorrow, people, at 9 p.m. Bye, 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 bye. See you later, bye, alligators. Bye. Bye. Teacher, good night. Good night. Thank bye. you. And love for everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye now. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Teacher, bye. Take it easy. Night. Night, night. Night, night.